The carriage horses in the modern day city is out of place. You see them in these crowded, congested streets and they just look like it's a time warp. Like they've come from a different time and a different place and just been dropped there. And it's really unhealthy for the horses. It's unsafe for the horses. And what amazes me is it jeopardizes the public safety. And yet, because the carriage owners can make money off of it, the government is willing to jeopardize public safety. These are prey animals and not predators. That means that their environment needs to be free from any kind of stimuli which they will interpret as frightening or noxious, as the official term is. A frightening stimulus could be a sound, uh, an opening of an umbrella rapidly, uh, someone tossing a beer can uh, nearby. As a paramedic in New York City, I don't think that the horses belong on the streets. They impede our response to emergencies, they get in our way, there's no way to get by them a lot of the times, and we curtail how we respond when their horses are on the streets. As a veterinarian who has studied horse health and welfare and safety issues, especially regarding horses in an urban environment. There are certain things about New York City that can't be corrected in such a way that would make the industry humane. If you think of the horses, they are for an eight-hour shift sucking down the fumes of all the trucks, buses, cars, cabs that go whizzing by them. These are horses who have to struggle to move air in and out of their lungs. If a horse is heaves before he or she comes into the industry and then has to live this wretched nose to tailpipe existence, many of these horses become much more ill and have much more trouble with their breathing. Many of those horses come into the carriage horse industry in New York with pre-existing lamenesses and those lamenesses will do nothing but worsen when they are put on these very unnaturally hard concussive surfaces that horses did not evolve to handle. I have on many occasions seen horses that are lame pulling carriages. One of the major hazards that the horses, particularly in New York City, face in the summertime is stress from the intense heat that comes off of these hot baking street surfaces. The temperature at the ground level where the horses are working can be as much as 41 degrees higher than that that is cited by the uh, U.S. Weather Bureau in their morning weather reports. When we couple that intense heat with a high humidity, such as we find in New York City in the summer, the horses simply cannot cool off. There are a few cities in the world where horses have died of heat stress. In other words, they essentially bake to death on these hot urban streets. New York City is one of the worst. I understand that the horses are only watered out of a communal tub, an ASPCA donated tub. And this is a veterinary nightmare. This is the kind of thing we are told on day one is improper for any kind of animal management. It is an enormous source of disease transmission from horse to horse to horse to horse to horse. And also, since we can't always trust humans to be kind, you don't know what kind of pollutants may be being tossed in there when no one's looking. There are five stables in the carriage horse industry in New York, and they're on the far west side of Manhattan. The furthest one is about two miles away from Fifth Avenue and Central Park South, which is where the horses work for most of the day. When I was with the ASPCA on carriage horse stable inspections, my biggest concern is the impossibility of evacuating the horses in the event of a fire. You know, the National Fire Protection Association guidelines for animal housing say that a horse should never be housed on a floor that doesn't have a ground level exit. These stables store at least a ton of hay, which is highly flammable. The public is not allowed to go into the stable, so the only way that I could gain entrance was as an official veterinary expert working on behalf of the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. I was really, I have to say, horrified by what I saw. They were dirty, 
they had insufficient bedding. The city requires that stall sizes be a minimum of four foot by 10 foot. And that's pretty small. That's considered to be a standing stall. Which means that the horse is aligned 180 degrees in a straight line. And he goes from that confinement to the confinement between the shafts, to the confinement of his tie stall, to the confinement of his shafts. So legally, they can be harnessed to the carriage for 10 hours in a day. Too long for a horse to be between the shafts of a carriage. Maybe nine or 10 hours wouldn't be so bad if they spent the rest of their day in a field somewhere, going where they wanted to with other horses around, but they don't. They go back to a tie stall or a small box stall. Many people have heard some second grade teachers say that horses are amazing because they can sleep standing up. Well, they're prey animals, so they can catch a cat nap standing up. But what they really need is deep sleep where they are stretched out flat with all their legs extended. New York has had laws since the 1800s that say being cruel to animals is a crime. A carriage horse working the streets in these kinds of conditions is cruelty to animals, period. 